Welcome everybody to a new, what might be a mini series. We'll see how it goes on the channel here where I'm going to try out Gold Rush the game. So uh, my, my father was recently visiting me from Washington State uh, because my son got married uh, this past week. And uh, he's done some prospecting and he actually has uh, several tens of thousands of dollars worth of gold that he's found over the years. And he got me uh, watching uh, Gold Rush and Bering Sea Gold, um, those shows. And I knew this game was out. And I figured, well, let's try the game and, and just see, you know, how it goes. Um, these these people here are from the actual show Gold Rush. Uh, but I just started watching. I'm only a few episodes into season one. So don't know a whole lot about it yet. But I figured we'd try this game out. And if you guys like it, if I get enough views, and of course, if I'm enjoying it, uh, that will de 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 uh, d determine uh, how long we keep the series going. So, anyway, um, let's go ahead and jump in. I have played the tutorial. I got a little over an hour into the game just to kind of figure a few things out. Um, and so I know a little bit about the very beginning, but not a ton. So, we'll see uh, how it goes. All right, so we got easy, uh, normal. So, what's this? One dollar mode is on. I don't know what that, that even means. Um, so if we go to normal, it turns off the $1 mode. It turns off digging helper. Machine failures are on. Pressure system is on. Easy wash plant placing is off. Uh, and random events are on. And that's the normal mode. So yeah, let's, let's just go with the normal mode. Would you like to play the tutorial learn how to... Yeah, you know what? I only got through the first part of the tutorial so i think this will help us um in getting started uh so let's uh select yes to that okay let's jump in and do this this ought to be a lot of fun well ought to be a lot of fun yeah i've i've watched like maybe we already have a bucket full of gold take it to the gold pan and start cleaning it up just be careful not to lose any everything in the process yeah we don't want to do that um, I'm probably the third or fourth episode into this season one of gold rush um so I have a lot to, to go on that, but I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, and Dad and I watched the Bering Sea Gold several several episodes of that while he was visiting too. So, uh, all right, let's see. I'll give you some tips at the beginning of the journey. After that, you'll have to watch a lot of Dig Tube. That's the name of the local miners' video service, and read our journal a lot. There is all the information you need to become the wealthiest miner in Alaska. You can make it. Let's start by restoring the pickup. Someone parked it that way that we can't drive off the hill we need to use the restore system p.s if at any point of my long and possibly repetitive task you feel that you're fine on your own and you think you know what you're doing just go to the menu and select end tutorial okay yeah don't show that message again um all right so looks like something just popped up and now this just popped up so this is information about the map i kind of started learning some of that stuff so let, let's just cancel out of that right at the moment all right so gold mining tutorial prologue jump into the pickup truck okay so let's jump into the pickup truck here we just walk up to it and press e open the backpack choose map select pickup and then select restore okay so backpack map uh pickup I guess i I guess it's already selected. Okay, and then do restore. And what that does is it just gets us out unstuck, essentially. All right, turn on the big generator by pushing all the start buttons inside. All right, so they want us to go over here. And, you know, I've... I actually already did this. I wonder how would we... If I end this tutorial, does it end all the tutorials or just this first part? Do you want to finish tutorial? The only way we're turning on is to start a new game. Oh. Now, all right, well, let's just go through this again. I, I did this part already. Um, so, yeah, we'll do it again. That way, uh, this is kind of neat because it kind of shows us, uh, you know, what we're going to do with a larger operation. But w when we actually start for reals, we're not going to start uh, with all of this equipment. Uh, okay, so we need to turn on the shaker. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt container. It's getting loud. The trommel. Power splitter. Wave table. I guess that's not assigned to anything. 
work lights, and work lights. Okay. Turn on the big water pump. All right. We got ourselves a big water pump here. Start that up. Big diesel water pump. Pulling water, I guess, from the water tower there. Interesting. All right. Jump into the excavator. So that's going to be over here. This, uh, this took me a little bit of getting used to, and I'm still nowhere near efficient with it, but hopefully I'll do a little bit better than I did when, uh, when I tried it the first time. All right, so we jump into here. This kind of shows us some stuff, but I already kind of know what to do. So start the engine with the X key. Switch to operator mode. So um, operator mode is driving it, essentially. Uh, oh, wait, nope, it's not. Hold on. Oh, you know what? I don't think it's letting me do it because it wants me to it wants me to follow the tutorial. Okay, so let's press shift to get back to operator mode. And then move the cabin to the left. Your other left OG. Move the cabin to the right. Move the boom down. Move the boom up. Okay. Move the stick up. Move the stick down. Those are the R and F keys. Um, you can also do that with the mouse. Uh, T opens the bucket and G closes the bucket. Dig some soil. Okay, so we're going to turn the cabin this way. Now, you can switch views by pressing the C key. Um, so this is kind of bucket view. That's like straight down view. This is cabin view. This is drive view. So I think... This is like free camera mode, so this is probably going to be the most useful for us to start with. However, when we are in cabin mode, uh, it does show... Um, oh, I guess it doesn't. Before when I was doing this, it showed me a, a little mark on the ground where the bucket was actually at. So maybe it's because I was in easy mode when I first did this. All right, so... You can press Z to show the controls, and so we want to open the bucket, and I'm doing this one with the mouse. Uh, so that's right mouse button and push mouse forward, and then right mouse button, pull mouse back towards me. That's kind of intuitive there. And then left mouse button moves this, the stick here. So I'm not an excavatorologist, but my understanding is when you dig down, you kind of want to move the stick and the bucket simultaneously while you're lifting something to that effect okay so let's go down here and do that and move the bucket up there we go and then we'll lift this guy up over here um now i'm gonna switch views here because i'm not sure oh it looks like we're over the the thing okay so let's um open the bucket up and maybe lift this up a little bit that's as high as it's going to go. Okay, cool. All right, let's go down and move that out and then kind of scoop as we lift up. This is kind of fun, man. I'll tell you what, it is It is fun. Okay, and then open the bucket, lift. Uh, let's pull the arm. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, again, down and then scoop and then back up. Bring that bucket in so we don't lose it. Now, we can also use the mouse wheel to close the thingy, too, but I think I think the idea is just to scoop it this way. Um, oops, I keep hitting the, the bar there. And then do this with the arm and this with the bucket. So can I do those at the same simultaneously? I don't think so. I think I have to do the bucket separate from the arm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's keep digging here. Okay. Hold on. We got to redo that. This is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> at least not for me anyway. Uh, but it is fun, though. Oh, I think <laughs> I got it. I think I dumped it out the other side of the the thing there. Okay, so down and then scoop and then scoop. There we go. Bring that out a little bit more. 
There we go. Now we're over the buck or over the thing. Okay. And then lift up and scoop. Just trying to get used to that. I, I understand. I definitely understand the concept. It's just getting myself used to the controls in the game. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I dumped it out the other side again. Uh, maybe I should back up a little bit. Okay, so let's go press shift. Now we're... Uh, okay, hold on. Shift. There we go. Now we're in drive mode. That gives myself a little more clearance. Okay, we'll press shift again to get back in operation mode. So I'm going to go down and scoop the bucket. There we go. So it looks like it's kind of more bucket action and a little bit less stick action. All right, am I over the truck? Yeah, we're over the truck there. It tells us that we're 22% full now, too, if you look at the right over the truck there. All right, let's try a different view. Um, so this is, this is kind of like, yeah, bucket view. Okay, so we'll go down and scoop. There we go. And then over to here. Open the bucket. It gets us 26% full. And then scoop. Up and over. Oh, no, no, up, up, up. There you go. Gets us, gets us 28%. Okay. And... Nope, scoop this way, pull towards me, lift up. So it's almost like you get the you get this angle where you want it, but most of the action is the bucket when you're doing the actual scooping, or at least it kind of seems that way to me. Uh, so let's bring the stick out a little more, bring that out, and then grab that, scoop it in, and lift it up. I've lost a little bit of dirt there, but that's okay. All right, well, you guys get the idea, so I'm going to um, keep doing this until I get this filled all the way up to 100%. All right, we're at 97%. Let's bring the stick out a little bit and then scoop this, come back up. Nope, I lost most of that dirt. Let's try that again. Scoop. Now come up. This should do the trick. There we go. Oh, well, it's 99%, so good enough. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's uh, bring our uh, arm down here. We'll just park it there and shut the rig off here and hop out. Okay, next thing it wants us to do is drive the dump truck over to the conveyor belt. All right, so let's run on over here and we'll jump inside of the dump truck. Turn that off. Start the vehicle. I think we're going to want to be in um, this mode here. Back that up just a little bit. Okay. And we we'll drive on over here. Whoa. Okay. This thing uh, is a little squirrely. Back it up, straighten up there. Okay, now back it up like so. Okay, and then we bed up is R. Okay, before we do that, let me make sure I'm in a good enough position. That looks good there. Okay, here we go. Let's 
All right. Um, and then bed down, I think, is F. Wait while the conveyor belt finishes loading the shaker. Okay. Let's pull the truck back out here. And we will park it right there. Okay, so let's uh, hop up here and take a look at what's happening. It's loading all of the dirt in the shaker. What the shaker basically does is it's got these grates in it. and allows the dirt and the smaller rocks to fall through, but the larger ones are caught. And then they bounce off the end of this, I guess. Uh, the really big ones do anyways. And then down there into a, into a pile where they can be discarded or whatever later. That's how I understand it anyway. And then the shaker is... Man, that's loud. <laughs> so loud. Um, the stuff that's fallen down below is then dumped into this little... I guess this is a sluice box of some sort. And it has water running through it. And it's basically running all of that material down into the trummel. And the trummel's the same kind of idea. It's just filtering it down to even smaller... Um, you know, pieces than the shaker does. And then it dumps that into these sluice boxes uh, and it's running over miner's moss underneath these grills. So the grills, again, filter out the larger material and the finer stuff goes down below into the miner's moss, which is a filtered type of thingy that catches uh, the gold sediment. Okay, wants us to turn off the big water pump. Uh, nope, stop. There we go. Okay. Now it wants us to take off the miner's grills. So we come up on this little stair thingy here. And we... No, get out of here. That's just showing us where we go in the shop to get these. So we got to pick up all of these grills here. It's just kind of... I guess we just toss them down there for now. I don't know what else to do with them. And again, I've, I've been through this tutorial once already, but it's kind of neat, so I figured you guys probably want to see it. Uh, for those of you who are watching this or seeing this game in action for the very first time. Okay, can we just kind of th throw those down there, I guess? It'd be nice to have like a little rack to store these things, you know, in a s setup. Maybe that's something we can do later on. All right, now it wants us to take the mosses off. Okay, so that's... Uh, again, uh, and then this just goes back and shows us how to get the moss from the factory. And we're, we're going to drop these down here because I happen to know from doing the tutorial earlier that this is the next thing we're going to use with these minor mosses. All right, so let's take this, drop that down there. And we'll get all of the mosses off of each one of the sluice boxes. I guess that's what you call these. I'm I am uh, definitely not an expert at all when it comes to gold mining, so I'm learning along with everybody else. Okay, so we've got to do the same thing now over on this side. I wish you could uh, grab, you know, more than one at a time, but if, if there is a way to do that, I don't know how. So we just got to do it one at a time. Maybe in, in a real world situation you wouldn't want to do that because you might risk losing some of the material or something. That could definitely be of the case. All right, let's take this over here. Dump that there. Yeah, this is fun so far. I don't imagine this game is one that you... I mean, I'm, I'm sure some people could play it for you know, tens, tens, uh, maybe even hundreds of hours, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I will too. Maybe I'll, I'll actually enjoy it that much. Okay. Put miners mosses into gold nuggetator or no nuggetator. This is a nuggetator. Okay. So we start picking these guys up and putting them in here like so nuggetator. That's what this is called. Uh, nope. You have to make sure you see it highlight with the, the moss before you actually do it. This takes a little bit of getting used to, but makes sense. Okay, 
pick the small shovel from your toolbox. Okay, so if I press Z, my toolbox is basically my toolbar, and um, number three is the small shovel. Use the small shovel on a grate. Okay, so it wants us to go up here and get some more material that fell through. There we go. And then it wants us to put this in somewhere. Where does it want us to put this? Pour pay dirt from small shovel into bucket. Oh, that bucket. Okay. I guess it's safe for me to walk on here. Probably wouldn't be in, in reality, but that's where we are. Okay, take the bucket from the sluice box. We have to hit the number one key to get back um, into our our hands. Pour soil from bucket into mag magnetite separator. Okay, that's this thing I'm a doodle down here. All right, let's drop that. Turn on the big water pump. So let's run back over here. Water pump is on. Turn on the gold nuggetator. Kind of like the Terminator, only it's the nuggetator. There we go. And the nuggetator has finished processing the pay dirt. Take off the wash miner's mosses from the gold nuggetator. Okay. Turn that off. And. These, I think we, we should probably just put these back, right? Oh, no, the water's on. Okay, so I'm going to just, I'm going to put these over here so that way I know they go back on that side and, and I don't mix them up with the other ones. So we'll drop those down that way. This stuff is loud, man. But you probably need to wear ear protection in real life, working around machinery like this. Well, you you do, because I actually did used to work around machinery similar to this, but for a gravel quarry, not for a gold mining operation. Okay, put the rest of the gold-rich miner's mosses into the gold nuggetator. Okay, let's do it. Get some more gold, man. You can see in the um, upper right-hand corner that I, al I currently have $139,302, but that's just... You know, from the tutorial, when we start for for real, we won't we won't have that, of course. But that does seem to suggest that when you get this far along in this game, that's a, around the type of money you're going to want to have. So, all right, turn on the nuggetator. Wait for it to finish. Have a sip of coffee. The gold nugget taker has finished. All right, turn it off. Take the bucket from the gold nugget tater. And pour it into the magnetite separator. All right, right there. Take the first bucket from the duplex jig. That's this thingy here. And it's going to want us to put that into the magnetite thingamadoodle. And then grab the other three. I remember they, uh, on the show, I think it was episode two or three, uh, that they had to drive into Anchorage or someplace like that to get a duplex jig. So that's these thingies here. The buckets there. And the final bucket.
Okay, turn on the magnetite separa uh, separator and wait until it finishes processing the soil. All right, there it goes. So there's a bucket down there for gold and a bucket down there for dirt. Interesting. Okay. Uh, take the bucket from the magnetite separator. The magnetite separator is finished and do something. All right, so let's turn this off. Pick it up. Pour processed soil into the wave table. All right, so my understanding is this thing is kind of like an automated gold pan. Put the bucket down there. Turn on the wave table and wait while it finishes processing the soil. So it kind of does. Ooh, I just saw a nug some nuggets in there. Nice. So it's dropping material somewhere down there. Added 78 grams of gold to your account. Wow, that's a lot. Awesome. Okay, turn off the wave table. So, yeah, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, we now have 78.426 grams of gold. Go to the caravan and sleep till dawn. Um, shouldn't I, like, turn all this stuff off? <laughs> I think I should. It doesn't tell me to do that, but... In fact, we probably should have turned some of that other stuff off, too, because in a real situation... You're just wasting fuel, man. So let's turn all this stuff off. Plus, we'll be able to sleep better because it'll be more quiet. Okay. So now it wants us to go to our little camper and sleep until dawn. So let's select dawn. Uh, okay. And then... Okay, cool. So that was it for that first part of the tutorial. You can semi-automate the panning by buying a wave table. Yeah, pour the dirt into the table and wait for your gold gathered in the jar. Nice. Didn't quite see where the jar was, but it must have been under in front somewhere. Okay. I'll give you some tips at the beginning of your journey. After that, you'll have to watch a lot of dig tube. Let's be restoring the pickup. Wait, didn't we already do this? No, okay, so it's moving us on to the next part of the tutorial. Okay, so that just talks about going to the bank and stuff. All right, now, uh, drive to the old Glen Bank and lease old Arnold parcel. Okay, so let's get into our pickup truck here and start it up with X. And I'm going to get into the drive view mode, take the parking brake off. Whoa, that was weird. And let's drive on into town. So I guess we go... Oh. No, we don't go that way. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. Go this way. Wait. Hold on. Let me get into free camera mode. Where is town supposed to be? Oh, it's telling us to go this way. Okay. Okay. I think it's telling us to go this way. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There's town. This is called Haynes, Alaska. All right. In the show, they're in a place called Porcupine Creek, I believe. There's a gas station there. We'll probably have to use that, I'm sure. There's a church. Some houses on the right, a bunch of cars. Okay, so this is the old Glen Bank. Let's turn our vehicle off. Hop out. Okay, so we come up to the bank here, and it wants us to lease the old Arnold parcel. Okay, so... We're going to lease it for for zero? 
Maximum machines on parcel one. It doesn't cost anything to lease this? Ooh, cost money to lease those. Goodness gracious. All right, maybe that's just because we're still in the tutorial mode. We have $450, Mickey Hala. Um, so, yeah, let's lease this. Old Arnold is always happy when new Greenhorn miners are coming to town. He was a miner for almost 40 years, and now he teaches everyone who wants to learn. He rents his claim for almost almost for free. That looks free to me. Uh, come and take a look yourself. Okay. That's not almost free. That is free. <laughs> okay. We're not complaining, though. All right. Let's confirm that. Okay. So we have leased this. It tells us this in the red kind of, you know, uh, watermark text there. And so this is now our parcel. It looks like if we wanted to come back and reset everything and remine it again, there's an option to do that. Um, there's also an upgrade option, one machine slot on parcel. Let's not worry about that now. Let's just follow the the tutorial until we, you know, until it frees us up to do our own thing. Okay, park the pickup at the highlighted place. I hear uh, I hear noises going on. Okay. So this, I believe, is the warehouse that we go to, yeah, uh, to, to get our equipment. So we want to park the truck right here. Okay. And then it wants us to buy a hog pan no pump. So that is this thing here. Press E to order. We want one of those. Add it to the order. Buy a hog pan sluice box core. Okay, that's this thingy here. Okay, and then next, two hog pan mats. So I think these are just like smaller versions of miner's moss. Buy a bucket. That's going to be over here. And go to checkout and buy your stuff. Okay, so this is going to cost us $155 in total. Uh, you will find all your ordered equipment. Yeah, uh, we already know that, or I already know that. Uh, it's basically just saying everything we buy at places over in this kind of staging area, and then we have to load it up. That's kind of cool how they do that, because, you know, we actually literally have to load this stuff in our pickup, which is cool. Realistic. Okay, so let's drop this mat in here. Put that in there, pick up the bucket. And let's take the sluice, bar, or not the, the hog thingamadoodle over here and put that back in there. Hog pan, that's what that's called. And then we've got the big sluice box core. So that, uh, can we get it right over here and get it inside? Yeah, we did, look at that. All right, cool. Raise the tailgate, drive out of town it says. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I think we want to go... This way? Yeah. Yeah, we're going towards that big yellow beam in the sky there. The game does kind of have a little, uh, oh, stories notification. The story notification is bleaking on your screen. It means a part of the story is nearby. The closer you are to the story page, the faster an icon is blinking. You can disable it any time in the game settings. Okay. We'll keep all, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoops. This truck is a little squirrely, man. Um, we'll keep all that stuff on for now until we, you know, really feel like we're learning the game here. Okay, so we're heading over to this factory here. There's another load screen. That's why it froze up a little bit. All right, so this is a factory here of some sort. Not sure what. Uh, now continue driving to the old Arnold parcel. Okay, so we just come around here. Drive up this way. Okay. 
old Arnold parcel. Oh, was I not supposed to go this way? I don't think I was supposed to go this way. Okay, let's back up. Down through here. There we go. So old Arnold's going to let us mine on his parcel for free. What a nice fella. All right, so let's get on over this way. And we're going to park the truck here. Okay, take the hog pan sluice box core and put it on the wooden base, which is just right over there. Oh, I can't see. There we go. All right, now it wants us to take the hog pan no pump and attach it to the sluice box core. So let's grab the hog pan. So this is the most basic of mining equipment, of modern day mining equipment. All right, take the first hog pan mat and attach it to the hog pan sluice box core. Okay, so let's grab our first mining mat thingamadoodle. And then take the second one. This is kind of a nice tutorial. It's a, it does a reasonably good job of teaching you how to do all this stuff. Okay, now what do you want us to do? Uh, oh yeah, it's just showing us where to buy stuff. Wait, I've already, I already know that because we've done the, the tutorial. Okay, pick the shovel from your toolbox. So again, if we press Z, our shovel is the number two key. So let's get that, and then fill the hog pan with pay dirt. Okay, so I know from doing this earlier that it takes about 10 shovel loads to fill this thing up. So let's get 10 going here. That's number two. Three. You're lucky. You found the gold nugget. Uh, they exist so the beginning of the game would be easier and progress would be faster. If you don't want to use any help, that's the option we recommend for the best gameplay. Then reject this nugget. You'll never find one again. Never find any nuggets again? No, uh, no I think that means the probably never find any of the freebie nuggets. If you change your mind anytime, you can change it in game settings. Okay, so no, let's reject this. Uh, let's do this legit. Um, 89. And then, let's see, that get, that gets us to 100%. Okay, cool. Um, so we'll press the 1 key to get rid of our shovel. Now it wants us to pick up the bucket. Uh, oh, I guess we left that in our vehicle. Okay, take the bucket here. Fill water from uh, the river and pour it into the hog pan to start washing the soil. All right, repeat the digging washing process to fill the mats to 30%. Gotcha. Of course, if we were doing this for realsies, we'd want to fill them to 100%, but we'll just follow the tutorial for now. Got to wait for the edge of the water turns green before you do it, otherwise you'll drop the bucket. Okay, so that was three loads, and it looks like we are done. Okay, so we'll drop this here. Um, I can tell because it shows me here that the bucket is, is uh, are the dirt's now gone from the bucket. And we have 9% on our mats. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just keep digging and washing and digging and washing until these get to 30%. Let's do it. All right, we are now at 36% on the hog 
pan mats. So it says take the first hog pan mat and wash it in the bucket. You need clean water to rinse the miner's moss. Oh, it, it didn't tell me to... Here, let's put this back for a second. It didn't tell me to put water in it first. Even though I actually knew I was supposed to, I just forgot. Okay, put that down there. All right, now let's try this. Take the second hog pan mat and do the same thing with this. Hey, pick up the bucket. Take the bucket and go to the tent, okay? Fill the big bowl with water from the river. That's this. I'd call this more like a wash tub as opposed to a big bowl, but that's okay. Oh man, this thing's got to be heavy. <laughs> Makes my back hurt just uh, thinking about it. All right, let's drop this down here. Take the bucket and use it on gold pan. Buck oh, gold pan right here. Okay. Start panning in the big bowl. Okay, so we go here, attach that to this. Um, we use the left mouse button to dip it in the water, the right mouse button to bring it back up, and then we just kind of shake the mouse to do the separation. Switch to pick mode and pick the gold one by one. Okay, the first thing I need to do is dump the water out, though. Like that. Like that. Okay, now we go to shift. Now we're in pick mode. And we got some nuggets here, so let's grab that. It's a nice size nugget. And then we got another one there. We get that with a little squeeze bottle. Um, now let's um, just kind of roll this around a little bit and make sure there isn't any more pieces that we may have missed. It looks like there isn't. Uh, okay, so now we want to press shift to get out of pick mode. I guess we just dump the rest of the stuff in there and then E to get out of panning mode. All right, and then pan the rest of the pay dirt until the bucket is empty. Okay. So basically at this point we are quite literally wash, rinsing, and repeating. Washing, rinsing, and repeating. Okay, get that in the water, get it out, shake it up a little bit. Okay, dump the excess water out, press shift to get into pick mode. Got another nice size nugget right there and a little nugget there. Okay, um, any more? I think that's it. Okay, get out of shift mode, dump the rest of the dirt in the water and put this back down there. Anything more? Nope, looks like that's it. Okay. All right, jump into the pickup truck. So if you look in the upper right hand corner now, I've got 13.151 grams of gold from that little little thing that we just did. That's cool. All right, back into the pickup truck. Start it up with X, parking brake off, and let's get on back to the factory. Drive to the blacksmith, which is over that way. Okay, let's go. Still have a, just a little under a half a tank of gas, so I think we're doing okay on that. Whoop, turn the car off. I don't want to waste fuel. Knock on the blacksmith's door and smelt the gold ore into a shiny gold bar. All right, so smelt, upgrade, sell, magnetite, sell gold ore. So you can sell the ore straight up, huh? Magnetite, upgrade, buy a small burner kit. That's cool. Okay, well, let's just do what the the thing he wants us to do so that'll when we smelt this down into a bar we'll get 13.2 grams of 
Uh, I don't know if that's considered pure 24 karat or 18 karat gold. Um, but let's do it. Are you sure you want to smelt that ore? Yes, I am sure. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a nice little gold rush bar. All right. Uh, drive to the old Glen Bank, and I think it just said something about the first tutorial being finished. So let's put our, our little gold bar in here. In the back of the truck, because I don't know how to put it in my pocket. All right, can we drive through here without crashing? Sort of. <laughs> okay, wants us to go to the bank and make a deposit. Hot darn. Back up. Okay. So sell gold bars. We will get five hundred and nine dollar dollar bills from selling eleven point eight four. What's the stock? Ooh, it's terrible. It's really bad. <laughs> I, I wonder if you what you do in this game is you uh, you mine and then you come and check the stock prices before you actually sell. Uh, and wait, you know, for it to, to get a better price, because that's a terrible price. But, again, we're just doing this tutorial for now. I, d I don't even know if this money that we currently have will carry into the main game once we start with the main game. Uh, but let's just keep doing what it wants us to do for now. So, um, do I click on that, or do I just do sell? Are you sure you want to sell these gold bars? Sell. There we go. We got the money. Nice. Okay, cool. Gather 23,000. Gold mining tutorial stage one. Info added to journal. Let's look at the, the journal here. Um, okay, so we've already done all of this. Let's turn the page. Go to the claim, find the hot... Yeah, we've done all this stuff here. Preparation, big bowl. Yep, that's all done. Panning system, we got that done. Tier 1 extensions. Okay, so it looks like... So we've done everything up to step 14. So now it looks like we can add some stuff, some water hoses, a pump, some filter uh, to increase our capacity... And the tutorial wants us to get up to, uh, I think it was 24K. So basically, we got to get to the end of here until we get to Tier 2. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to wrap things up here, and we're going to just pick up right where we left off in the next episode. So here's the deal. If you guys like this, um, definitely hit that like button. Um, it's going to really kind of be based upon the, the views that I get and how many times, you know, the likes and stuff. And if you guys like it and you want me to keep going, uh, definitely hit the like button. Definitely leave a comment uh, and say so, and we'll keep this going. I, I am also going to give you fair warning that, you know, this is obviously a very grindy game. And so I may also live stream parts of this, too. So it might be a combination Let's Play and live stream uh, series. And so just, you know, I'm telling you that now so you don't come back to me later and say, I wish you weren't live streaming this. Well, that's what we're probably going to do. So get used to it. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.